Season 1, Episode 5 of Chris Cast. My name is Chris Abraham. And I think the episode, uh, name of this episode is going to be You are not allowing me to make your life better. You are not allowing me to improve the quality of the world. You are not allowing me to help you. Why are you not allowing me to help you? If you don't allow me to help you, I am going to help you against your will. Because it's for the betterment of you and the betterment of mankind. Amen. That's not going to fit, though. So I will continue after the break. Hello, this is Chris Cast, episode 45, season one. I just watched the most adorable interview with Milana Vaintrub talking about Squirrel Girl at uh, NYCC 2018. I think that's New York Comic Con 2018. And she is adorable, and she's optimistic, and she's hopeful, and she wants the world to be a better place. And she said... The reason why I like Squirrel Girl is because her, her, um, I guess her, her, um, mission, her, her mission is to make the world a better place. And Milana, she's done amazing work with, with Syrian refugees. And so her goal is to make the world a better place. And she says that the new Marvel its goal is to make the world a better place. Now, the people who want to make the world a better place, I believe, have enough power to break the world in their attempt to make the world a better place. They have a vision of what a beautiful place is, and they sure as hell will bring the world raining down rather than not be able to manifest that in their world. And, you know, after being quite a world traveler, I've realized that what most peoples want is they want to be left alone to live their own lives. I know that it might seem like deplorables want to shoot you and oppress you and be stupid, and stupid is dangerous, and stupid is infectious, and that uh, if they would just settle down, they would realize that uh, medicine is good, and we've tried sugar to let the medicine go down, the medicine go down, the medicine go down. They've tried a spoonful of sugar to get the medicine go down in the most delightful way, and it never works. Because what people really want, you know, what, what Kurds want is to have their own land. What Jews want is to have their own land. What Palestinians want is to have their own land. What Native American and Aboriginal people want is to have their own land. What Aboriginal people and American Indians want is to maintain their own culture. What uh, Evangelical people want to do is to maintain their own culture. What Kurds want to do is maintain their own culture. What uh, Al-Qaeda wants to do is maintain its own culture. What Afghanis want to do is to maintain their own culture. What uh, Pakistanis and Indians want to do is to uh, have their own culture and preferably be in their own land. I mean, in many cases, refugees would prefer to be in their own land. Uh, they don't necessarily want to go to other places unless they think that place is better for them. And even with FaceTime and Skype and uh, and and world tele tel, uh, telephony, people just really want to be left alone to have their own cultures. Now, if you are uh, a gun-toting, Bible-thumping, uh, true believer, uh, all you want to be all you want to be able to do is to make sure that your children get a good education in your faith-based tradition 
and in order to get a vocation uh, to be able to work and make their decisions for themselves and quite possibly even get some advanced degrees and so forth to become uh, you know, a professional either in your community or somewhere else. But you want, first and foremost, you want to be able to live the life that you recognize and that you enjoy, even if it's perceived by a bunch of uh, Milana Vaintrubs and so on and so forth as that life being anti-science, uh, anachronistic, um, not based in truth, not based on science, and actually quite dangerous for you because by putting your belief into the hands of a sky daddy, you are in fact hurting your family and your children and so forth. And in many ways, we really need to find ways of taking these people away from you and making sure that they are not indoctrinated in your, in your ideology and your cultism. Because really, we need to use our ideology and cultism to train everybody into a similar uh, culture that would benefit everybody. A culture based on science. I don't know if people believe that in this multicultural pursuit in, to be inclusive of every color and every culture, uh, none of these people who want to create a beautiful future for us, a happy, better place, none of these people want to do exactly what they say they want to do. Uh, at the end of the day, they might honor uh, Latin and Latino culture, Latinx and Latino culture. They might honor Guamanian culture. They might honor Native, Amer Native Hawaiian and Native American culture. They might be appalled by how uh, Native Hawaiians and, and Australian Aborigines were plucked away from their deplorable parents at the time. Those people were considered those people, and they were considered primitives, and they were considered pagan, and they were considered awful. So their children were plucked from them and put into orphanages and foster care so that they can modernize and make better for those people. Uh, same thing happened to the uh, our, our indigenous people in, in North America. Same thing in Central and South America. People were defined as deplorables. They were defined as being caught in the past. They were being defined as, as having some sort of belief in something that's stupid. In that case, it was pagan, which is anti-Christian. Uh, pagan, you know, is the precursor of that thing which needs to be converted, right? Christians are taught to do missionary work around the world and to convert pagan babies. That's the reason why the the amazing rock group in Hawaii is called Pagan Babies, because the goal of the elite throughout the world was to convert pagan babies. Now, the goal of in the entire United States is to convert Christian babies. Uh, I don't think it's politically expedient or correct to say that you want to convert Jewish babies or Muslim babies or Buddhist babies or Hindu babies. But by definition, by saying that science is the real religion, uh, math is the true God, um, scientists are the true monks and the true uh, patriarch and scientists are the true um, are the true leaders of a new science cult, and therefore everybody who believes in Sky Daddy, anybody who believes in Santa Claus, needs to be brought into the twenty first century. So it's just the same kind of reeducation that happened when it came to converting pagan babies. The strange thing is that the same pagan babies and their children and grandchildren, great grandchildren that were uh, converted away from their uh, animist belief system, their, their own culture of belief are now being uh, used 
as a hammer with which to hammer down another belief system, which in this case is still a major- majority belief system, but is still being hammered down as uh, antithetical to modern progression. Because Christianity, which is the largest um, belief system in North America, including science, is anti-vaxxer, anti-science, anti-reality, anti-climate change, anti-coronavirus, probably all Q, and all these other things. And this, this, this is antithetical to the science-based, I call it a neo-religion, I call it a neothophacy, I just made that word up, so I don't call it that at all. But in my head, I call it uh, a new world religion. And this new world religion is based on science, based on academia, based on logic. And all these things are in air quotes because I, I believe that when you use a tool as a weapon, it is no longer a tool, but it is a weapon. Um, I know we gun owners say that our weapons are tools, but we also know that our, our tools are weapons. Um, we know that I have a box over here because I'm manly of tools, a tool chest. And I know that most of those tools in that tool chest can be used as a weapon. But if you forget that they're even tools in the first place, or you don't know how to use them as tools, and you only use logic and, and, and evidence and research and poll taking and my degrees, and my training, and consensus, and all of these other things, if you stop using them as lures to bring people into an opt-in change of their lives, I mean, my parents didn't go to college. Uh, I was brought up reading uh, Chaos, and reading uh, Cosmos, and watching Carl Sagan and watching Nova and reading books about uh, relativity and doing science projects and uh, experimenting with computers in the 80s. I mean, I was a real science-based guy, but people around me were Catholic. And, you know, I don't find anything wrong with Catholicism, um, not just being a remora or or a, a uh, um, uh, what is it called? <sighs> not as just some like in the uh, not Christianity in the way that we list listlessly uh, consider what being a what, what Thanksgiving is like as a way thinking back to the pilgrims as some sort of like memory of the past. No, Christians are not remembering back to Puritanism. Christians who believe, not the ones who pretend to believe to make money or pretend to believe to get a job or pretend to believe in order to um, in order to abuse children or to pretend to believe in order to get power over people. Or, but I'm talking true believers in anything. Well, first of all, that's dangerous. But secondly, they really, I mean, do I? I wear a, a rosary. Maybe I am. A believer. But anyway, let me pretend I'm not. So they, I'll use they, and say that they live not a theoretical life. They don't live a theoretical physicist's life where they know uh, through telescopes and through books that far away there are astral bodies and that there's cosmology um, outside of our uh of our uh, of our biosphere no people who believe in their god of choice be it jesus the christ be it mohammed peace be upon him uh no matter who, who whomever ganesh uh hari krishna uh etc they they have a personal relationship not as a blind watchmaker not as some sort of Deus ex machina, not as some sort of uh, uh, 
uh, blind watchmaker, uh, architect of the universe, like the Masons believe, but a, a present personal relationship in case of Christianity or in the case of Catholicism, more specifically, since that's my, since that's my, my place, I mean, I'm Episcopalian now, but Father, meaning God, Son, meaning the Christ, Holy Spirit, and of course, you've got uh, disciples, the saints, and of course, you have the number one queen, Queen, you have uh, Mary, the mother of uh, Jesus Christ, the the bride of God, the the uh, uh, the the point with which you know many Santeria and other types of derivations of Catholicism. Um, Catholicism allows many uh, quote pagan old world, old God beliefs to manifest using Christian iconography in ways that are more comfortable for their, for their parishes. Um, all this stuff, magic, voodoo, um, uh, prayer, all these things are not just, I mean, I was just recently listened to a podcast where they were showing how stupid theosophy and how stupid, um, uh, spiritualism is and how, how fooled and stolen from every person who participated in, uh, a palm readers experience or in a, uh, any type of person who is a numerologist or a palm reader or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, you wouldn't believe it, but there are people who very strongly believe in that. My mom uh, strongly Catholic, anti-Catholic, insofar that she felt like the Catholic Church was messed up, but she had her own faith, and it was really alive with 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 uh, saints and with Christ and with Mary, and um, Pele and Mary are all mixed up in Hawaii. They're kind of the same. Uh, they're kind of the same goddess. They, she's the leader in many matrilineal societies. Uh, who need to hide under the cloak of Christianity. Um, my uh, all-boys school was a Marianist school uh, attached to a Marianist college. Ergo, I believe that we kind of loved Mary more than we even loved uh, Jesus the Christ. Extremely interesting. And these are very much alive and very much living. And you can't go ahead and and be the kind of pedant that uh, that that embraces um, uh, black and brown people into your belief system as your allies, and then at some point they're going to realize um, that you don't believe a freaking belief that they have. You don't believe in their Jesus. You don't believe in their Muhammad, peace be upon him. <clears throat> you don't believe in in Vishnu. You do not believe in in Ganesh. You do not believe in uh, Krishna. Uh, you don't believe in Mary, you don't believe in the saints. <clears throat> and honestly, even though you give him the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate respect, and you might even have a uh, little, uh, little, little meditation, um, corners as a result of your, of your yoga practice, you don't really believe in uh, Dalai Lama, you don't really believe in your in your Hindu uh, gods of plenty, and I don't know what you're thinking when you're meditating to a uh, to the to the likeness of your guru. There are people who believe in Sai Baba. There are people who believe in ascended masters. There are so many people out there, and none of them want to be upgraded to. Uh, I'm going to call it Scientology, uh, but I don't mean that. I mean uh, science-based religion. You're the the cult of of the rational, the cult of of the um, the curious, the cult of STEM. Uh, I mean the the level of insult associated with saying that anybody who believes in Sky Jesus or Sky Santa or Sky Daddy are completely mentally ill is not the kind of person who actually wants to make the world a better place. 
Now, if you say, I want to make the world a better place, and my goal is to make the world a better place, um, if that literally means I personally don't like the furnishings in this house, I either want to completely refurnish the house, or I want to raise it and build something new, then be more honest with us, right? Do you want to, do you want to bring us, do you want to take us with you? Or would you prefer to call a mulligan and uh, build back better or maybe great reset or something like that? Maybe your, maybe your beautiful words of making the world a better place means with an asterisk, make the world a better place without all y'all because all y'all, uh, you know, like how inconvenient the Indians were in, in early America or how inconvenient the Aborigines were in uh, early um, Australia, or how inconvenient uh, the Indians were in India under a um, under a British Empire. Um, so, are you doing it for us, or are you doing it for yourself? Amen. Talk to you when I get back. <laughs> Hey, episode 45, season one, Chris Cast. My name's Chris Abraham. Sorry about that. That was pretty heavy. I don't even know what I said. I actually love the fact that I get to reread or re-listen or actually get to listen to uh, my podcast for the first time when I listen to my podcast for the first time because really, who the heck knows what I say? The boldness in my decision to do this is that I... Um, I'll never delete a podcast. I might add sections to it so that after I listen, if I find a point that I completely messed up because my brain was going 30 miles per hour. I told you in a previous episode, I'm a Camry. I'm not a LaFerrari. I'm not a, um, I'm not a, uh, oh gosh, there's a brand new car that's so fast. But I'm not a McLaren and I am not a Veyron um, by Bugatti. So I'm not even like, I'm not even like the S model of the, of the Camry. I'm like the base model, the one you get, uh, the one your dad got who is not, uh, who, who has, uh, only, um, who only has a, uh, a degree, uh, a BA in business, not a, not a, an MBA or not a, uh, a JD or, uh, an MD. So that level of Camry, not even, not even Prius acceleration. I've just got a reliable Toyota engine in my head. Um, all right, come right back. Tell me if this sucked or not. And, oh, and I'm only going to add to it if I got something wrong. I'm not going to delete stuff. But because it's, it's basically coming up with a theme and then, and then barfing out of my, my, my pie hole, uh, with my, my, my brain sludge, uh, it's just out there, baby. It's a challenge. Just put it out there. All right, come back after the break. Welcome back to episode 45, Chris Cast, season one. My name's Chris Abraham. If you want to reach me, I'm at chris at abraham.su. If you want to call me, I'm at plus one, two, oh, two, three, five, two, five, zero, five, one. If you want to, uh, you can do that for WhatsApp. You can do that for text. You can do that for call, but I won't answer the phone call unless you're my, uh, unless you are a best friend or a previous lover. Um, 
if you want to make a date, you can uh, reach me at calendly.com slash chrisabraham slash 15 or 30, depending on how long you want to talk. We can always hang up before then. Or probably, because I'm not the most popular girl in school, uh, go on a little bit longer. Uh, my website is chrisabraham.com. <clears throat> my social is at chrisabraham on Twitter, at chrisabraham on uh, Instagram, at chrisabraham on YouTube, at linkedin.com slash in slash chrisabraham. Oh, I'm at Chris on No Agenda Social. And if you would be so, if you'd be, if you'd be downright neighborly, I would really appreciate it if you went to either Apple Podcasts and wrote a review and maybe gave me a thumbs up and some stars and maybe a comment, or you can go to your podcast platform that you lack currently and maybe go in there and do a review and write a comment and maybe give me a thumbs up. And tell your friends, hit that share, like, and all that stuff. Because that's all I want to do, is write these podcasts and do them to the best of my ability. Yeah. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.